Hey, well, welcome, man. I tell you what, I am catching my, I've got my fill. I did a, I did a mini, mini, mini um, tutorial, right? And I used this song, Yes, I'm Ready. And I got so enamored with it. And I said, okay, I need to do this song. I need to try this song out, right? And it was done by a woman, right? And I said, I'm going to do it as a man and, um, you know, and use the MIDI files. So this is a blend of the MIDI file and also some real tracks that were taken from Band in the Box. So I took some real tracks and some MIDI files. I exported them over into my Sonar because that's where I sing it. I sing in my DAW. I do not sing this stuff in Band in the Box. And, uh, and it's actually, it's working, right? I, again, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the tutorial soon on how I did that, how I split all of these out. But just want to give you guys an update, right? Because I got so enamored with the song and I thought I would try it and make it a little bit more official. So anyway, so this is how, this is where I'm at right now, right? Is that I brought all of the tracks over, right? The guitar, the bass, the strings, you know, all of the instruments over, right? And um, notice I've got my, all of my strings, everything over here, right? And again, it's a blend. It's a blend of both, right? But what was killing me is the harmonies, man. This song has some really complicated harmonies in it, right? But just to give you an example of what it sounds like, I give you an example of what it sounds like right now, right? Is it sounds like this, a little bit of this. The drums are the original MIDI track. The strings are the original MIDI track. The bass is a real track taken from uh, Band in the Box. The guitar is taken from Band in the Box. So it's a blend of both. The strings, again, are the real strings from the MIDI file that I'm using. Not a VST, but this straight MIDI, uh, where I created away from those files, right? And again, I'll show you how I did that. But so this is the software I'm at right now, right? And I'm kind of moving through it. Um, like I said, I changed the key to make it so that a man can sing it, right? And uh, I th actually, I think it's, actually, I think it's pretty good. It could be better, but I think it's pretty good. And so I'm, well, I'm singing it. I think it was, it was such a great song in the day. But now these, these backup vocals, like I said, it was giving me fits because they had such a great call and answer when you did it, right? So the music, the music was pretty cool and putting the music together from um, from band in the box, right? Just taking, dragging, creating waves and dragging them over, right? That was pretty good, right? But it's these background vocals that kind of they kind of got me going right now, right? So uh, tons and tons of, of full part harmony, right? That I have to try to sing myself. Uh, I'm doing okay with it. That's the background. So, as you can see, this, this is kind of... <laughs> Again, doing these background vocals in this song, it's really got me going. And plus, I'm trying to do it my own way, also. Now, if you're not that proficient at background vocals, right, then this is something that you guys can you can work on, you know. Because if you notice, these background vocals are not exactly following the lead, so it's not this melodyne thing where you just take and drag at your, from the lead voice down. No, man, can't do that here. You got to sing that pattern. You got to sing that pattern a little bit differently, right? And again, if I if I go back to listen to the lead vocal and the background vocals, right, you'll see what I'm talking about. I don't even know how totally different. Understand, oh, baby, I'm 
So I got to get it so the background vocals kind of go with the string line. The string line kind of goes with the lead line. The lead line kind of goes with the harmonies and everything. But again, I'm working on it, right? I'm just giving you guys a taste of where I'm at with the song. And also, just go, you just just so you know, I don't know I'm stumbling, right? I love this song, actually, but I'm really going to get it. I'm going to get it down. And um, I'm going to show you again in part two of the MIDI file how I took and how I extracted the different MIDI parts out created wave from those files, imported them over into my sonar and started arranging the song from there. But again, in this particular song here, right, it's pretty vocal heavy. So you really got to be, I had to be up on my P's and Q's and I'm really working on trying to refine, uh, trying to refine my approach to the vocals. And again, just, I'm, I'm just going to play the end for you. Then I'm going to call it, I'll call it a day on this one here. <laughs> I have to have space. Notice that? I love that. And I took and I put those in those spots, those strings in those spots. I'm gonna go ahead. And, I'm gonna go ahead and fade this out, right? I just want to show you guys, just tell you where I'm at right now. I'm gonna finish it, and I'm also gonna finish the mini tutorial part two to show you guys how I actually put this song together. And that way, again, that way you guys get some ideas going in your future compositions how you can also do some of this to add appropriate dynamics. You know, and appropriate dynamics and things like that. Again, so just give you a taste. So I haven't forgotten about MIDI Part 2, right? I just got totally enamored with this song and thought I'd give it a shot in a key that a male would sing it in, right? And see what I can do with it. Okay? Anyway, that's it, man. Hopefully, hopefully you can get some tips from what I'm doing here. And again, I'm a big doll fan, whether it be Sonar or whatever it is, right? I just think that you need a good doll in order to try to pull this kind of stuff off just because not necessarily the music involved, but because all the vocals and the layering and things like that, um, things like that that are involved here. Okay, later.